pouch I've been waiting for years. So I just got to steam the bottom to get all the wrinkles out. It's very soft. It is the down. So I just love it. And it's going to be so easy to decorate with this couch because anything goes with it really. So I'm really excited. I've been waiting so long for this and my couch is here. Right now I'm going to decorate with some pillows just to give you the whole full effect how the couch is going to look. All right, so here it is. What do you think guys? I think it came out pretty cute with these pillows. What do you guys think? Hi friends, welcome to Keeping Up With Miss Electra. So I'm excited today because as you've seen, my couch came in. I've been waiting for a long time to buy this couch. And when I ordered it, it takes like about two months to get to you anyway. So I've been waiting a long time. So it is here. I'm gonna show you guys um, how it looks with the pillows on and just what I did, you know, different at this section. So yeah, so I'm excited and I'll turn the camera around and show you what I did in this space. So what I wanted to show you when you're decorating with pillows. So as you can see, I have different patterns, but it's all working together because, you know, that's blue, that's blue. And then in here, as you can see, there's a little blue, even though it's a lot of other colors you can still see the blue in it, especially in person. So it like the blue pops out of this pillow now because of the other blue, you know, pillows. So it's okay to put different um, kind of plaid together. It's okay, it looks fine. If it's kind of like in the same family. So make sure it's in the same family and the colors, you know, complement each other the best way to do that is take the pillow you know if you're struggling if the pillows you know kind of like match and look good together it's always good to like put them together and stand back and see how if it's pleasing to your eye and certain colors are pop are popping out you don't want the pillows to get like lost and it looks like a just a whole bunch of jumbo mumbo pillows you know what i mean just like you just threw them on your pill on your um couch so right here i did you know i what i do the ones in the back like always i make sure they match and then these pillows like in the middle don't really have to match even though i match these two because that's what i'm working with today but they don't need to really match. You know, you could even have like all different kind of plaids that have the same color, you know, and they, and they kind of like match. So, but I did it this way and then I just added this pillow for a little, you know, just to give it a little more texture and a little more fall feel with this pillow. So yeah, that's what I do. And then don't forget to always karate chop your pillows. <laughs> That's what I do. So make sure you just give it a little karate chop on the top. All right, guys? Okay, and so I don't know if this is going to stay like this for full. I don't think so. I think I want to change it up. The white and the blue is kind of giving me like summer feel, I guess. And then you can see in the back, I got the table from my formal living room. You know, it's like a very thin council. All right, guys, so I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna turn the camera around and just show you what I did in the back because it's a little hard to see from this angle. So I'm gonna take the camera and show you guys to give you guys a better look. Okay, so right here behind the couch, so I'm gonna give a closer look so you guys can see. And you know, hopefully I inspire you guys and maybe you'd like to do something like this. Okay, so it's a thin council. I put it there. This one's not going to stay because I want to get another one because I want to use this one where it was before. So, I just think putting a council behind the table, a thin one makes the biggest difference. It gives so much dimension, so much like character. I just love it. And I just love that the couch is pulled away from the wall. So, before it was like, pushed in it looked terrible so i opted for the council to pull it out 
It made a big difference. You don't really want your couches to be squashed in a corner. It just makes it, you walk in, it doesn't give no dimension, no character in your room. So it's very important, and which I love how it transformed my um, living room, and which is so great is you have another space to decorate. How awesome is that? We love that. You know, for all the holidays that are coming up, it's exciting. All right, so right here for some full decor. So right here's the milk jug, and then I have these pumpkins from Target Dollar Spot in this cute little basket. These are core bowls. I just left them there. You know, it gives a kind of style. So that's perfect. And then a pitcher with some full flowers in there, which I think that looks great too. So right here, I think it looks awesome that I put the table back there and it gave a whole new look. All right, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like my couch. I hope you like what I did with this corner. It just transformed this corner with, you know, made it brighter. I know. So I, I want to do something with that wall, I think, but we'll see. And I will definitely show you guys. Might change up the pill pillows for fall. I will be having my, my fall home tour soon. I um, just delayed it because I was waiting for my couch. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can get subscribed. And if you like what I did today, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments below what you think or you want to give me some advice, anything. I would love to hear from you guys. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I, I post a lot over there. Keep it up with Miss Electra. And yeah, that's it for this video. Stay tuned for the other videos. I will see you in my next video. And I hope you always remember to keep designing life. Bye!